to everyone watching at home, my name's Sarah and we're bringing our Keeper Talks to your screen. We're about to meet the penguins. So there are 17 species of penguin in the world and Australia is lucky enough to host the littlest and the cutest species, the little penguin. Little penguins weigh about a kilo and measure about 30 centimetres. They're found in coastal regions around Victoria, New South Wales and New Zealand. Penguins are really social animals living in great colonies. They spend their time hunting for fish out in the water and return home at night. In breeding season, they lay a clutch of usually two eggs and both parents take a turn waiting on the nest. Their feathers are a lovely dark glossy blue at the back and they have pale white feathers at the front. It looks like they're wearing little tuxedo suits, little dinner suits, but believe it or not, this gives them fantastic camouflage. When penguins are swimming along, they swim along face down. So any predatory birds, predatory seabirds, will look down at the ocean and just see the glossy blue of the water. The same with any predators coming from underneath, like sharks or seals. They'll just look up and see the white belly blending in with the sunlight streaming through. So it makes our, our penguins masters of camouflage out in the ocean. Throughout the year, there are several important cycles that the penguins go through. After breeding, the chicks grow up and leave the nest, and then it's time for the penguins to molt. When penguins molt, they lose that lovely feathery coating and regrow it with new, fresh feathers. But this makes the penguins a little vulnerable for a time. You see, the penguins need that lovely feathery coating to keep them soft and safe and dry when they're in the water. Penguins have an oil gland and they use that oil gland to mix this special oil around their feathers that give them a special waterproof coating when they're swimming in the water. And that means the outside of their feathers might get wet, but their skin can stay nice and dry. Little penguins, as I said, usually weigh in at about a kilo, but during molting season, that's when they really stock up. In the lead up to the molt, they might actually triple in size. Here at Melbourne Zoo, we want to make sure our animals feel really comfortable and can live their little animal lives with minimal interference. So in order to feed our little penguins, we've set up a little contraption that looks a little bit like a runway. In this runway, the penguins can walk up, they can get a little bit of delicious fish, and while they do that, the keepers can assess their health without actually having to pick them up. So this little runway, the platform of the runway has a mirror, and that mirror allows our keepers to check how the penguins' feet are looking. Penguins are prone to a, a foot infection called bumblefoot that can be pretty nasty, so the keepers have to make sure that they're all looking happy and healthy. When our rubbish ends up in the water, it can end up in the belly of seabirds with deadly results. Studies done by the CSIRO have shown that a big culprit in seabird death is balloons. We might not even think of balloons as rubbish, but when we let them go into the air, where they end up is the ocean and in the belly of a seabird. Blowing bubbles is a great alternative to using balloons because it doesn't leave that nasty rubbish behind. And in fact, even our penguins love chasing bubbles. 